So let's briefly review memory. You know, how does it work? Memory involves the process of manipulating and storing knowledge with the purpose of making it available for later use. And information enters through our five senses, then it's encoded and it's stored. What seems to us to be a single memory is actually a very complex construction. If you think of an object, say a pen, your brain retrieves the object's name, its shape, its function, uh, the sound it makes when it scratches across the page. Each part of a memory of what a pen is comes from a different region of the brain. And into how that image of a pen is actively reconstructed by, reconstructed by the brain um, from all of these different forms is still very hard to understand. Um, we know that information is coming in through our senses. Okay? Think about when you first meet a person. Okay? You likely register their physical features with your eyes, okay? such as the color of their eyes or their hair. Your auditory system may pick up the sound of their laugh. You've probably noticed their perfume or their cologne. So we're bringing all of these information, these separate pieces of information in from our senses into our working memory. And that information is gradually transformed from short-term memory into long-term memory. The more that we are exposed to information, the more that it's repeated or used, the more likely it is to eventually end up in our long-term memory or to be retained. You know, that's why studying helps us uh, to perform better on tests, that we have repeated exposure to information. And the spaced retrieval technique gives people repeated exposure and repeated practice at recall.